There are moments in our lives that change our course in life and oftentimes define us. Finding you has proven to be the single most life-changing and defining moment of my life. And the day we hiked to the top of this mountain is when I first realized that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. On that first trip up here, we solidified our relationship on trust and support. You guided me up and down that mountain with such strength and confidence that I realized on that peak, you were the one God had been guiding my heart to. You showed me how to blindly and unequivocally have faith in not only you, but what God had planned for my life. I prayed my whole life for a man that makes me feel as safe, comforted, encouraged, and loved like you do. Kirby, you constantly raise the bar in life. You challenge me to be a better man. You're grounded by your faith, thoughtful of the impact you have on others, and very intentional with your time and energy. I couldn't have dreamed of a more compatible person to call my wife. I admire every day what an amazing father you are, and I constantly feel like Kaiser and I are the lucky people. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard, when our love is simple, and when it takes effort. I promise to seek God's counsel in all moments of need and come to Him and you first with the desires of my heart. These things I give to you today and all days of our life. When we're old and have stockpiles of memories hidden behind our wrinkles, I'm going to trace every line on your still gorgeous face so that I can relive the lifetime of memories you and I are about to share. I love you to the moon and back. You are God's greatest gift to me, and I can't wait to live this life with you standing by my side. I love you. Kirby and Nick, you may now kiss for the first time as husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Steiner. Yeah! yeah. I've been your coach in many sports, your boss, your co-worker. We've been roommates and dinner dates, but best, I've been your dad. And you've been my sweet pie. I wish you the ability to remain present. If you must go to the future, I hope it's only a dream and never in worry. If you must visit the past, I hope it's only to reminisce of the great memories never in regret. You two already have everything you'll ever need to always be happy and fulfilled. But I simply wish you the ability to always be present to see it. Nick and Kirby, as you grow in your marriage, 
Don't stress and count money, steps, calories, vacations, but count your blessings, and many of them are in this room. Also, don't chase happiness, because happiness is the outcome of joy. Whatever you do, do it with joy, and happiness, happiness will come. As God tells us in the first chapter of the book of James, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance, finishes work, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking. So now please raise your glass and help me celebrate joy with Mr. and Mrs. Steiner. Thank you.